Hey guys, welcome to the 3D RC Scale Garage for episode 1 of the F250 Truggy Scratch Build. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that I've posted a ton of pictures of this F250 body that I've been working on. And basically, I've really just been waiting on some parts that I ordered to arrive, and I've been busy designing my own pieces for the truck itself, the chassis really, and I've been getting them on the 3D printer. It's been a lot of... Uh, Designing, printing, testing, redesigning, printing, testing again until I have a product that I was happy with. And ultimately, that's really the goal of this F250 Truggy build. I want to design and 3D print as much of the truck as I possibly can just to see how far I can really take the 3D printing aspect of the hobby. So with that said, the uh, focus of today's video is going to be on the chassis of this F250 Truggy build. As you can see here, I've already designed and 3D printed a lot of the components for the chassis and I have some components that I've used from some other rigs that I'm more familiar with. So, we'll take an in-depth look at each one of these pieces, and then we will see if we can't get this thing put together. Alright, we'll get started by taking a look at the frame rails that I decided to use, and this is actually a component that I just purchased off the shelf. They're basically SEX10 frame rails. I purchased them off Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description below. But yeah, I'm familiar with these. I have a few SEX10s already. I think the SEX10 is a solid platform, so I decided I couldn't go wrong there, but my ultimate goal would be to design my own. 3D printable frame rails in the future. Next up we'll take a look at the battery tray. I designed this myself and had it printed on my 3D printer. So far I'm really happy with the way it turned out but we'll have to see how it does on the trail. It utilizes the same hole provisions on the frame that the shock mounts use so you only need one set of hardware to mount both the shock towers as well as this battery mount. As you can see I am going to have the battery mounted forward in the truck just over the forward axle. And here we'll take a look at the battery fitting in the tray. It fits nicely on the side. There's a little bit of wiggle room, and if I need to, I can add straps to this tray to uh, hold the battery in place. Next, we'll take a look at the bumper mounts. These are pretty straightforward, and they do integrate with the same bumpers that the SEX10 uses right now. You can see the mounting provisions, the holes up front for that. This is another part that I designed and 3D printed. If there's any interest in any of you guys have a uh, 3D printer, I'm going to make some of these files available on my Etsy site. You can find a link in the description. You can see here, this is how they'll actually mount into the frame rails that we have. Next, we'll take a look at the shock towers that I designed and 3D printed. These were one of the more complex parts. Just because of the curve on the SCX-10 frame rail, I had to match that with the mounting provisions, and I took a little trial and error to get there. I designed them to have a bunch of hole provisions so that I had options on where to mount my shocks to. They're not too widespread, but it should give me some options, some variability in where I want to place them. And then off to the side, I actually integrated the body post. So you can see here, I've 3D printed my own body post as well. And um, yeah, it just slides into the top there and I can position it up and down and just use a uh, some M3 hardware to secure it in place. Next up, we'll take a look at the transmission mount that I designed. So I tried to do something a little different with this transmission mount. I don't know if you can tell already. It, it mounts where the old transmission mount would mount on SCX-10. But something that bothered me about the old transmission was uh, I couldn't adjust the ride height of my ride too much because I would always bind up the transmission. So I thought I could try and alleviate at least a little bit of that by putting the drivetrain more in line with itself. So I angled the area where the transmission mounts to this transmission mount so that the drive shaft ends up being more centered and you can see I have those circular cutouts there to allow the drive shaft some space to cut through. Here's the actual transmission mounted and uh, you can see where the drive shaft exits is more centrally located on the actual frame of the uh, truck. And if you can't tell already basically I'm just going to use an SCX10 transmission that I've had from another rig for this build right now. Alright, so now let's get this chassis together and see what it looks like.
All right, so here is the F-250 Truggy scratch build chassis fully assembled with all the 3D parts that we created. So overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I do see some slight problems that I'll probably have to find out some clever solutions for. I don't think the links will hook into the uh, transmission mount the same way that I intended them to, so that's definitely something I'm going to have to figure out. But yeah, like I said, overall, I'm really happy with the way it uh, turned out. So now we'll start taking a look at what we're going to do for episode 2. The, uh, the next part of this build is going to be um, getting these axles that you see in the background onto the, uh, the chassis as well as those links. And I have some drive shafts there. As always, if you like the content, please uh, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. I have links to all that down below. And like I said before, I do post a lot more to Instagram than I do here. Also linked in the description is a link to our Etsy page. We have a lot of STL file downloads up for sale on that page of uh, different scale accessories and things like that for the RC hobby. So if you have a 3D printer, definitely give that a look and let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching the video.